Is it on all the way up? Yeah. It's weak as hell. Weak. All right. Let's see here. What is going on, good people? This is Ian Walker here with another episode of Sketching It with Ian Walker. Tonight I am going through and um, set up all my stuff. Um, going through doing some artwork for my board game project that I'm working on. Um, but So before I get started tonight, I'm going to go ahead and show the deal here. If you are not already following me here, if you're on facebook youtube or twitch i am called id walker art on all those platforms as well as on instagram so be sure to follow me there on instagram and then also too um it's going to keep scrolling throughout the the uh, stream here um i am on patreon as well patreon.com slash id walker art you can go ahead and join my art club i will be working on uh or every month i give I create a unique piece of art exclusively for the patrons here. It's about $17, 17 cents a month, so it's about five bucks. Um, anything more than that, uh, you will be able to uh, enjoy what I have to offer. I'm going to have more things, as I said before, um, every month. Um, and as time goes on, I'll be able to provide more for the patrons. As I get more patrons, I'll be doing one-on-one uh, -on -one art classes as well. Not one-on-one, -on -one, but like group art classes for patrons and things like that. So tonight I am working on a um, on an art project that I've been working on for a while, which is a board game um, that I've been putting together. Just kind of give you guys a quick little preview. These are the art cards for them here. I'm scrolling facts because I don't want nobody stealing my deal and stuff. But uh, these are some of the things that I worked on. These are the cards that I've done. And so I'm done with that part. So what I want to do is start working on the board, the game board itself. So while I do that tonight, I'm going to be taking questions. I'm always looking up at the chat, having conversations. So if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing, please do not hesitate to ask me. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And uh, even if I have to step away from the project that I'm doing to answer your question that's art related, I am more than happy to do so. Okay. So again, don't 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 think you're interrupting me or you're bothering me if you have a question regarding that. Okay. So right now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do get started. Just want to say hi to everybody who's watching me on Twitch. These broadcasts will be made available. Um, at least on Twitch, um, and I think they're also available on YouTube as well. Facebook, they're on the the Art of Andy e &E Walker Facebook page. So again, if you're not following on all those, please do so. So I'm going to start here with a with the game board. What I like to do always is um, go start with a 12 by 18 canvas. This is this can, this um, board game has been um, a project that I started a while ago um, with my board game art. I started this project with my son, one of my sons, a while ago, a couple months back. He had a school project, and um, and uh, we. It was it was funny because he had only a few days left to do the project. He had like I want to say it was like four or five days, um, and so his project was that he needed to come up with a board game. And he needed to come up with something right away. So I, you know, he came to me for help, wanted to know what to do. I was like, man, I don't know, I don't know if I could come up with a game that quickly, but we we made it happen. And uh, and it ended up working so well that um, that uh, I decided that I think it would be cool if I were to actually make this into an actual working board game. Now, what I'm doing is going to take some elements. Actually, I'm going to turn this to the side. What I'm going to design right now is the the. I had an idea. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the game called Dice Throne. 
they had a design that I thought was really, really cool. And I'm kind of taking some inspiration from that. And I'm going to make, let me bring this blue here. Make sure I have the right sketch pencil on. So each um, player or each character is a specific, um, is a specific um, character in the game. And what they are able to do is like this they each have their own attributes and abilities in the game and they have their own uh, like cards that they have so what I want to do is I want to kind of do something similar which I think might be might be kind of cool so we have the card here for the night so what this is it's like a maybe like a character placard that's in the game where they take it out and play and they unfold it in front of them like a game map. Um, and it has some of the relevant stuff on here and a way to track their lives, which in this game, every character in the game has three lives. Um, Just do special. Ability info here. What's going on? I got one here in the Facebook. What's up, bud? New balance. Welcome to the art show. <laughs> got my Facebook Live people on here. So... So character card here. I'm flipping back and forth. So if you guys see me looking at the screen every once in a while, that's just me going back and forth between um, Pinterest and um, here because I use, like I said, I use Pinterest for my references here. So that's what I'm doing. Um. Let us see. All right, so the cards are going to have, you can see here, the character card goes here in the middle that they could place there. These are their lives here. Three. Over here is going to be their relics collection. So all of their relics are here. Um, the relics are smaller cards. So on one side, they'll have the relics. One, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, they will have their items, weapons, and the weapons cards can go here. So in relics, they can have a max up to three. Okay. And um, that looks decent right there. What do you think, Jim? Oh, I got my son sitting here with me, but he's he's on his beat. He can't hear me. <laughs> well, it's all good. No, I was just looking at this. So I was looking at the character cards. Here. What do you think? Individual character cards for so when you take out the game, you take out okay, I'm the warrior or your character board, so to speak, and whatever that is, you pull you pull it out and then you 
place your cart there, your life tokens, and then all that. Um, be kind of cool. And then that way you have a place to put everything. And then when you're playing the game, you do everything. It folds up. But yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, it's going to fold up. Right. It's going to fold up double. You know? Mm-hmm. I think that'd be kind of dope. Yeah. And then that's here what that looks like right there. Well, you see it right there. <clears throat> okay, okay. See, again, I would have to make a prototype of that too. What I also need to do is make tokens. Okay. So I need to make So these are the So then we got my our tokens here or life tokens. So pretty much if you're a warrior, I'm just going to <clears throat> I don't even know. I made all of these exactly different. <laughs> Each one here. That's funny. So those life tokens will be placed here. As you lose lives, you'll, you'll remove the tokens from there. <clears throat> I think it would be kind of cool to have the character card, map card, have a special ability on them. So when you pick one out, or when you take one out, you'll be like, ooh, I have this ability also. That's added to the character that will help during the game. That'd be kind of dope, too. Okay. All right, all right. So what I want to do is have this as a reference here. I'm going to, oops. Uniform. Turn this around like that. I'm going to put this here. Like so. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make this here as a reference. Here. Try to think. Should I put on some music? I think I'm going to put on some music real quick. Just real low. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to exit out of Steam. Give me a quick second, guys. All right. Looks like I got some, some on Twitch. If you guys can hear me okay, let me know. Um, give me a, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the chat, please, just so that I know. Everything is copacetic, and, you know, if I need to make any changes, please let me know in the chat if you're on Twitch. Or if you're in, um, or if you're in uh, YouTube or Facebook. Bliss. Okay, so Spotify. Let's turn on some Mosco because I always like doing some Mosco in the stream or at least some lo fi stuff. Mm, let's go here. Mosco. All right. 
you. Okay. Cool. Let me have some music. I don't like it being totally dead, dead silent. Okay. So, just going to make a new layer here. Hope everybody had a very nice weekend. Um, I did. Like I said, I got my son visiting me here in Te in Texas. Um, having a good time with him. Him trolling me, me trolling him. I like to we troll each other all the time. So, but it's. Always great having him here and hanging out. Let me see here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the wonders of the wonders of digital art. Let's see here. Do this here. That. I'm going to bring that over to this side here. Okay. Maybe we could do something like the cards. Oops. Maybe the cards being something like this. Like right here. What's up, D. Coleman? 9805, what's going on? Thanks for joining the stream, my dude. Appreciate you. You're catching me right now as I'm doing my board game project here. I have so many projects going on right now, it's crazy, but um, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Trying to get these things done here, get these these different projects done so that um, I can be able to start um, one taking more commissions and doing um, start putting this stuff out to the public. I need to continue my comic book project as well. That's another thing that I'm. I'm working on also so all right T for token T for token T for token I'm studying how to make a comic book. But oh, that's cool. I, it's funny because I'm actually creating a course. I'm going to start creating a course for that. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is going step by step on how and doing that while I'm creating my uh, project uh, Pantheon, which is the comic book that I'm actually working on. So as I'm working on it, I'm going to be recording the, the key processes steps on how to do that and then it's it's pretty much just gonna be a step by step thing how I do that so you know no fluff no extemporaneous talking no none of that that stuff it's just gonna be how I usually always 
you know, give the information. Um, it's not going to be a bunch of fluff. Um, but it'll be what I do, what, what tools and stuff that I use to do it. Um, how to do your comic book for free without having to get a bunch of expensive equipment and, and things like that. So, you know, that'll be, that'll be very cool. So I'm hoping that that will garner some interest. People that are interested in also wanting to learn how to make comic books like yourself. They'll be interested in something like that. You know? So, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be starting that project next year in January. I'm going to actively... Because uh, my, my goal is to go ahead and just complete do the whole story of Pantheon I had stalled for a little bit because I was waiting for a um, for a colorist and I still need a colorist and instead of moving forward I stopped after I could finish the first book All, the first book is done it just needs a colorist color artist but um, I'm looking back and seeing how big of a mistake that was I lost a lot of time and um, I'm able to work pretty fast creating the comic book. And um, and so now I'm kind of going to end up being back at that square one position like I was before. So starting in January, I've decided I'm going to just go ahead and just kind of do my original plan of going through it, finishing the book. And uh, making that making that available. And what I'm probably going to do is keep my first book how it is. And I'll put it out weekly as a webcomic. So that people will have access to it and people will see it. And hopefully I'll drum up some interest in that. So we shall see. All right. So I'm bringing down, as you guys notice here, I dropped down the blues on here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in with the blacks. Generally, in most cases, you know, we always, you know, want to. You know, drop in with the pencils and refine and make it tighter. But um, what I find is that that kind of encourages procrastination. And I say no to procrastination. Let me bring this up. in here, this middle area. Some of my stuff here as a reference. Get out of the relic. 
Light card. Character card. And a weapon or draw card. I've been at this project right now for about three months. Three or four, about two or three months. Working off and on. These are the re uh, references I'm going to work on. There's different sizes. I'm just envisioning this in my head really quick, guys. So, what I know here, we'll go here. I'm kind of putting out the, I put out the cards themselves, kind of give myself a eyeball, kind of a guide. Then I want to use a folding, a folding area here. Right now, this game has been going through a bunch of revisions. I play this game with my family. They actually like it very much, which I'm grateful for. And um, maybe I can move the tokens down below or have a place for the minions. I'm going through various variations. I'm adding new rules to it all the time. And uh, yes, I did create this game. Um, I was saying before, I had, it was a project for my son's school. And um, we came up with it together. And um, I thought, you know, the game worked so well. I thought, you know what? Let's, let's see how this would do as a board game. You know, so... I start doing the, the graphics on it and things like that. And that's what I've been working on for the last two, two or three months. So I'm working on different aspects of that right now. Trying to create a, a second working prototype. Kind of like a vision of how the game will look. And um, hopefully it will, you know, as I keep doing the testing and I keep, keep running the game, you know, and I start introducing it to people, you know, giving the prototypes out. Hopefully people will like it and be interested in, in, in purchasing the game. So I've never done this before. So, I'm, you know, I, I've, I have no experience in, in, I have experience with graphic design, but not board game creation and all of that stuff I don't have any of that behind, you know behind me before but it's a new skill that I'm learning and actually the journey the process is it's pretty fun and pretty fun and this is something that kind of landed on my lap accidentally so it's just it's kind of cool kind of branching me out of my comfort zone from doing you know, which is what I usually do is comic books and and uh, cartoon artwork. And so it's kind of making me stretch my legs a little bit and trying something new. I do graphic design as well. So I'm, all of those, all of these things, all these abilities are being translated into this board game, which I'm hoping will work out. And every idea that I think of, I'm just creating it, putting it out there, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. And uh, just hoping for the best, man. <laughs> hoping for the best. Sometimes that's what we have to do as artists. We just got to find ways to create more and just do, you know, do what we can. I figure...
so I have here what the 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 play mat, I guess you'd say, would look like for each player. Um, it's funny because now as I'm seeing this, I'm feeling like I want to flip it. I'm feeling like I want to take this and flip it on its head and do it this way having the character card close to the player and then having all of its other attributes across the top here Character play mat. I think oh, that might be something. It might be something. So we do this here. So three. Um, let's see, cars just two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half, so five inches, five inches across. So, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on the measurements here. This layer, Five inches this way. Okay. Five inches this way. Five, so fifteen inches across. all on the wrong way right now. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, good. Okay, so the 
tokens could go here. Token, token, token. So those are the lives of your car, your character. Then up here, we'll go okay. because there are minions in the game. This will allow your friendly cards to be used here. Let's see here. I'm trying to work this out in my head. I'm trying to make it make sense. <clears throat> this is what I don't want is I don't want the player map to be too busy. Um, I want it to be um, just simple. And I'm having a feeling that it might be a little much. This might be an idea I might have to come back to. I think I need to create a prototype first and then come back to the actual design. Because I'm going straight from my head. And um, that might be the I might be approaching it the wrong way, I'm not sure. But um, I do know that this might be something that I want to do. Good. Good. So what I think I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hold off on this. I'm going to come back to that. Let me see. I'm going to name this. Character. The card map. Here I was trying to come up with the pro, with the <laughs> design of the of the uh, the game. I still haven't settled on an official name yet. Um, I'm going to. I know I will eventually, but um, right now I'm kind of just having a hard time coming up with what that's going to be. Eleven by seventeen. All right, it's time to create a board. Now, when I was originally doing this, um, it was a simple go around the board type of thing. I am now thinking that I may want to do something a little different. I'm not sure. And I'm also thinking with this game if I will do paper miniatures or actual miniatures in the game. I think for this prototype version, I'm probably going to do paper miniatures. Again, just to test the game, just to test you know all the different things. But um, let me see. I'm going to try to work on some different square variations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to canvas, 
Join guy, page assist. Okay. Oops. Edit drawing guy. I'm going to take the grid here and there we go. So we're going to go with a Want to do a quick check? Is everybody hearing me okay? Everybody still here? Everything's still copacetic? Just realized that I messed up. <laughs> My 17. I need to make a different canvas. It's okay. Let's make a new canvas here. Uh, I got a lot of different size canvases on here. I need to delete these. Maybe face paint. Let's get rid of that. Pixel art. 20 by 24. The. 22 by 22 by 34. So if I have 17, so 22 by 17, there it is. Let's go again with the drawings guide. Let it drawing guide.
something sorry guys I'm, I'm really trying to work out what um what i want to do with this here okay This is the kind of the generic board that I had in mind for the game here. Okay. And it's a basic go around the board type of game. A go around the board. Start. Max of four characters in the game. Each player will have their mats out around the board, and then everyone goes around the circle. You have your logo here in the middle.
Nobody in chat here. You guys still with me? Give me a thumbs up in the chat. I'm trying to work out this game board because I'm going to create this game board along with another. Um, try to create another design also, something that might work um, a little bit better instead of staying so generic with it. Awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you sticking around, man. That's awesome. Let's see here. Let's go with um, Just feeling like everything will just be. I don't want anything to be so static, but that might have to be the case. inspire me. That's awesome, dude. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad it's uh, work I'm doing here is inspiring. That's really cool. Really cool to hear. I will tell you, man, it's a hard road, road to go through sometimes, especially if you feel like, you know, you're, nobody's looking at your stuff or you think nobody cares or whatever the case may be. You know, you always end up having to deal with that imposter syndrome situation, you know what I mean? Um, 
Okay, so one thing that I had here was the idea of a graveyard for for each of the players so that when the players died, they pretty much went into the graveyard. So what I want to do is I want to um, make kind of make the, the 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 concept of the the board first. And then, and then kind of design it afterwards. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. I do know I want a graveyard, though. like looking at so many different ideas and I'm trying to decide how I want to because <sighs> I do know I want a graveyard for when the players die but I don't want I don't know where I would put that Based on that, I see. see what I'm saying? See, because it'll be pretty much this, but much more simplified. You know. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to have a character play mat, I don't need a graveyard on the board. I don't think. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have a graveyard because if I have the character play mat, I'm. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's necessary to put on here. Okay. Okay. 
So I need to create a name. I need to figure out a name for this game. Why? Because then that's going to help me out with the logo. Relics. Okay. It's the basic board there um so this is the this is the basic board layout that i have already um at first what i was doing was i was having my um the players run run the um, this using a one die six the flaw that I found with that because because what I was wanting to do was like okay we could start the game and use whatever comes you know whatever we naturally have you know there everybody generally has you know one dice one d6 right which is true but the problem that I'm running into is that as we keep playing this game Everyone is not circling the board. <laughs> I, it's possible to circle the board, but the way the game is set up, you could very easily be sent back to the very beginning and having to start over. Thus lessening your chances of getting around the board and activating the really cool cards that you have in your possession. You'll collect them and end up giving them up very quickly so what I'm doing instead is I am changing the original dice from one dice 1d6 to a 1d8 um, it gives a better opportunity for the players to get around the board and um, and take advantage of what the game has to offer in full and it will allow the game to go back quicker too i think so one thing that i'm learning with this is that in designing a board game is that you got to constantly do tons and tons of play testing because if you don't do a lot of play testing you just assume you know and then just throw it out there you're going to run into a lot of problems a lot of questions you're going to have a lot of questions being asked so that's what I'm learning. And I've had to make some make a lot of changes too to the to the mechanics of the game as well. Um player habits, Ellis's change to the game as well. I came up with a <laughs> with a game mechanic. This game is a it's a it's a fast paced game. It could be a little it's it's I, I was I'll say the game is pretty unforgiving <laughs> um it doesn't matter what kind of character that you have you know you may be getting this and be like oh i got this kind of character so i could win no your roles determine if you win or not um so if your roles are trash you could very well lose this game you know so you gotta <laughs> you got to get out of that mind frame of saying, ooh, this character is better than another character. I mean, yeah, you're going to have some characters that have better, you know, other qualities that are cooler, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily guarantee guarantee a win. Um, the relic cards in my game, in this board game, are extremely powerful and help you to work either against your against your other other players in the game. And uh, so, like I said, not getting around the board took people away from being able to experience what the cards can do, because a lot of the cards need to have um, 
a lot of the cards require the player to go around the board. And if they're not getting around the board, then it's like, you know, kind of, what's the use, you know? All right. So I like that. I like that. Let's see. Look at that. I like that one. Okay. So I'm looking through fonts right now because I need to come up with a logo. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to go ahead and create that logo. Let me turn here, game board. This is what I'm settling on right now. I'm going to come up with different renditions of this and decide where I want to go with that. So I need to go on Pinterest later and um, I'm going to do a multiple stuff tonight if 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 this goes okay. Let me edit this drawing guide and Here at an eight, 
letters high. start in the middle. These are where your two, your middle letters will lie. Okay. Inspiration from a font that I found that I liked, and now I'm going to continue to use it to make it my own.
what I'm probably going to end up doing after this is uh, creating a new font. Actually, I'm creating this font from scratch. I found a font that I actually like, but I since I don't want to use that font exactly, um, is I kind of tweak them to make them my own. And then, um, and that's what I'm doing with this one. And I'm creating it by hand. So what I'm going to do is um, so after I come up with the light, you know, if I like what I see right here, I'm going to do an alphabet. And then I'm going to, I have this, um, this uh, font creator that I get online. And then as I draw in all the drawings that I have, I just throw them in there put them in the system and then it creates the whole font for me and then i can download it to my procreate or my um program on my computer and then i have the font you know the one that's getting me I might have to broaden the X to white not the X this one might have to be four over
Uh, how about this? Let's see here. This. <laughs> there it is. I think that's it. I think I found it. I think I might have found it. Okay. Why am I still not feeling this? Let's see. That just looks wonky. It looks it looks like bring this here closer to the middle. Problem solving. Sorry about the popping and shooting out here. I guess here in Texas you can have guns, so they keep popping off shots every, you know, all night. Hmm. How's that look, dude? There are some letters that I think need to be more chunkier than others. Well, yeah, I'm just spacing out the. I'm just doing the individual letters right now. To bring more uniformity and balance, certain letters need to be more chunky than others. There it is. Okay. Okay.
Phoenix, Blue. I was built an hour and a half on this logo. I'm, I'm kind of liking where it's going though. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and do another um, layer here. Minimize the thing. Let's go ahead and go black. Thank <laughs> you. 
come over here to the gallery. I'm going to put this logo in. like on the back of a cord. To get a hard back. will have the relics logo but on the relics themselves I don't have anything so I'm thinking on the front we'll take the relic of the high king okay, okay gotta go back to the game right now <laughs> Mm. 
now what that means is I gotta go through on each and every one of these and put this <laughs> put that logo on all the cards. But I will say I do like I like this. I don't know what so this is enough for me to go through and create a full alphabet. And um, and add it to the cards. All right, all right. guys so we're gonna start wrapping this up i got about eight minutes to go on here i'll come up with the logo for the game so far everybody steals this i have video evidence that i created this before anybody else so <laughs> try it if you want to <laughs> uh let's see here
Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap this up for tonight. I'm, I'm just over here making uh, some of the game stuff here for the, for the game board. But um, thank you guys for joining me tonight, hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys will join me next week as I continue on with my um, my artwork here and um, creating my board game project. I think I'm going to stick with this for the next couple of weeks um, until I get to a, satisfied, a point where I'm satisfied and I want to... Um, um, you know, move forward with something else until I'm until I'm satisfied with where I'm at. So, you guys will see me um, continue on with this. So, thank you guys so much again. If you want to um, get uh, some information on what I'm doing, you can always find me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and YouTube's at ID Walker Art. And also to my Patreon, if you want to go ahead and join the art club there as well, just scrolling here at the bottom, patreon.com slash idwalkerart. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you sticking around. Make sure you tell your friends about me. If you're on Twitch, go ahead and subscribe on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, hit the comment, like, subscribe, also um, notifications as well. And then if you're on Facebook, go ahead and follow me on the uh, Art of Andy Walker group, okay? So, thank you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you guys next week. You guys take care. Bye.